you know, with Austin not being fully stretched out and, you know, the kind of the opener is to, you know, hopefully we can get some outs out of Aiken early and then turn over to Austin for, um, you know, at least maybe one and a half times to the order. That would be fantastic. And then with the day off tomorrow, just try to piece it together with our bullpen. Any idea of how long you, want, you ideally would like to see Aiken go? If he can go an inning or two, that would be great. Hicks in center, McKenna in left. Is kind of the calculus there? Like left field is almost more complicated to, to navigate now. Well, Hazy's a little bit under the weather today, so um, you know, the, unfortunately, hopefully he's available to get some big hits for us late in the game. But but uh, we're going to start Mac and, and left today with the big park out there, and uh, Aaron's a little bit more comfortable in center field as of right now, and took balls off the bat in center yesterday. So that's what we decided to go that way. What's it like for you as a manager to have a player now who you've watched a million times as an opponent? Yeah, I mean it's uh, my first my first year he hurt us, um, and you no, know, this guy's been around the league for a long time, and and uh, Long Beach guy, um, Long, Beach, Long Beach Wilson High School, but uh, no, I mean it's, you know it was, hopefully we can. You know, he's had a tough year so far. Hopefully he can turn around for us and maybe a fresh start and a new beginning. And um, I know he's excited to play and he's excited to be here. So uh, hopefully he can give us a spark. Yeah, but what's it like for you seeing somebody who you, you know, saw from the other side a number of times all of a sudden you know, on your bench? Um, well, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm happy he's here and, and uh, I've respected his game for a long time. So. Um, I mean, I'm happy he's on the club. Great, obviously, you, know, you can take a look at his numbers and back baseball card or whatever you want to call it. But um, defensively, that was kind of, you know, he, he was known as a really good defensive outfielder. What what have you seen or, or where is he in that uh, discipline now, do you think? I, well, I haven't seen much. I, playing his first game for us today. Right. Um, so just saw him a little bit early in the year in that first series. And, and uh, hopefully he can play a good center field for us today. Is there any talk about bringing up a fresh bullpen arm if this turns into a bullpen game and how much you had to use it last night or you feel like you laid off enough guys that you can we'll see after the day after today hopefully you know hopefully Key can go an inning or two for us and Austin can pick up a big part of the game and and then um, we'll kind of see where we are the day off tomorrow definitely helps I don't know if we'll be able to do this we didn't have a day off tomorrow um, but that's definitely helpful and we'll evaluate after the game today see what who we think we can be would be available in a couple of days? But you didn't feel like you needed somebody for today's game. We didn't feel like we need somebody for today. No. You like Adam Frazier in that leadoff spot? He's doing a great job. You know, the couple of games he's been in there, he got on base. He's got on base a, a bunch this month. Uh, Adam just gives you really good at bat, and you know, versus right and left too. And uh, um, you know, I just like the quality of his at bat. He's not afraid to take pitches. Not afraid to hit with two strikes. He puts the ball in play with two strikes, and uh, you know, sparked us yesterday. And hopefully, he can do it again tonight. Is that what you're looking for out of a leadoff hitter, somebody who's just going to give you quality at bats? Well, I mean, there's more to it than that for me. Um, you know, ideally, you want the guy, the guy that's going to be on base a lot and high on base, and like I said, you know, add some punch to to being a guy that's on base, be able to steal a base, also kind of set the table for. For guys uh, hitting behind him, you know, with Rutschman hitting second, he's on base all the time. And so, if you can get a couple guys before the middle of the order, they're on base. It's you're going to generate some runs. Um, but you know, Adams got leadoff experience. I saw him doing it in Pittsburgh, and and uh, you know, he adds the ability to, to take a walk, but also to go deep in count and and take a bunch of pitches and make the pitcher work a little bit. You know, change of scenery help a guy. Well, we're hoping in this case. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some guys around the league right now where some change of scenery has helped, and and uh, you know, I think that sometimes you just need a little bit of fresh air and <laughs> a little bit of, little change of uniform and. And uh, maybe it energizes you a little bit, and hopefully that happens with Aaron. Um, he's still got a ton of ability and and unbelievably athletic, and hit the ball out of the ballpark from both sides, and do a lot of different things. So um, he's shown that he can do that in his career, and and we're hoping that that this change 
Uh, we'll help him this time.